the 15th Finance Commission has been constituted. And just as we had reported, N.K. Singh is now the chairman. Sapna Das joins us with those details. Sapna, take us through the terms of reference. What exactly are the terms of reference that this committee, this Finance Commission essentially, will be looking at? Well, just as CNBC TV18 had reported that Mr. N.K. Singh will be, Dr. N.K. Singh will be appointed as the chairman of the 15th Finance Commission. So that's what it is. The uh, gas and notification is already out. The assent from the president is already in. And of course, apart from Dr. N.K. Singh, who will be heading the 15th Finance Commission, apart from that, Dr. Uh, Mr. Shakti Kandadas, uh, former DA secretary, he's also one of the members. Uh, Mr. Ramesh Ranth from Niti Aayog, uh, representation for the Planning Commission slash Niti Aayog has always been a historical trend. So that is where it uh, stands. Mr. Ramesh Ranth is going to be part of the 15th Finance Commission. Apart from that, you also have uh, Dr. Ashok Lahiri, uh, the former CEA, as well as the current uh, uh, non-executive chairman of the Bandhan Bank. And apart from that, you also have an economist as part of the 15th Finance Commission team. Having said that, very clear terms of reference have been set out by the current government because remember, when the 14th Finance Commission recommendations had come out, uh, you know, the government's new government's tenure had already started. And if you keep that 42% devolution formula in mind, uh, that uh, f financial year, the government had to shift the fiscal goalpost. So here they have raised a lot of, uh, uh, not exactly red flags, but they have raised the concern, especially in terms of GST, that keeping the GST compensation to states in mind, it's a five-year guarantee given by the Constitution. Uh, this has been clearly given as one of the terms of reference will have, which, have, which will have to be considered by the 15th Finance Commission at the time of decision of the vertical devolution formula. Okay, fair enough, Sapna. Thanks for joining in uh, and breaking up the compensation and the composition of uh, the 15 Finance Commission. Sapna, in fact, caught up with a man of the moment, N.K. Singh himself, a short while ago. And we he spoke with us uh, about uh, several areas and how the terms of reference have changed. We also spoke about agri-economist Ramesh Chand, who will also be a member of the Finance Commission on the panel's terms of reference. Take a look. I have not seen, it's to be honest to you, the terms of reference. It's in you have received the notification a touch earlier than me. Let me see the terms of reference. It talks about the GST base. Well, certainly I think that I'm not surprised that it talks about the GST base because certainly I think that uh, the fact that the GST was propelled through several constitutional amendments, uh, which included uh, the states being participant in the, these constitutional amendments, and joins upon any finance commission the need to examine the implications of the GST in terms of the finances of both the center and the states, because this is about the uh, fiscal issues of the general Thank government, which deals not only with, this, with the center, with which the FRBM committee had to deal with it, but the Finance Commission now brings in the states as well, and that is a, and therefore it comes as no surprise if you tell me that this is one of the things which has been included in the terms of reference. One very quick, uh, you know, follow-up on this, that, you know, the, the government has made a reference to GST revenues time and again in the additional TOR, if you have a look at it, sir. All I just want to ask is, and they've also mentioned about the fact that how the 14th FinCom had suggested a vertical devaluation of 42%, which probably, you know, led them to uh, change the goalpost as term, in terms of the fiscal roadmap. So is this some kind of a message that the government is trying to give to the uh, FinCom as you start your uh, long and arduous work ahead? Unless I study the terms of reference, uh, I would be in no position to comment. And I haven't even taken over to comment on what the 15th Finance Commission would do or is supposed to do would really be very premature. One so, last question on the fiscal roadmap. The fiscal roadmap uh, would you be in sync? This year yeah, would you? This slightly month uncertain. Pardon? This year the uh, do you think that we'll be able to follow the 3.2% fiscal deficit target for this year? I and also the FRBM roadmap? That so. question, I think, should have been addressed to the Finance Minister who was here at the first part of today's uh, launch. This is a question which is really meant for the Ministry of Finance. The, uh, the, 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 the FRBM uh, committee which I had the privilege to head has given its report already. It is uh, with the Ministry of Finance. It is for them to consider what they want to do. The revenue trend is uh, right now. Are you worried by the temporary dip in the GST? I, I do not know what the dip has been. I have no authentic information on that and therefore don't expect me to comment on something which, uh, on which I have no direct information. Certain other benchmarks have also been suggested in terms of how you know state's performance will have to be kept in mind. Well, I don't know what the uh, what those benchmarks are, and therefore uh, I do know, however, what the Constitution provides. I don't know what are the other issues which has been referred to the to the to the Finance Commission. And let me have a look at them. Well, sir, many congratulations. Thank Thanks a lot.
now we face different type of challenges uh this uh, growth itself is a concern yes. um, employment is a serious concern rural distress is a serious concern mm. so i feel that uh, the 15th finance commission it should not be looking at things uh, mechanically mm. it should address it should confront head on different uh, challenges which are being faced uh. and new environment which is being created for development so you are an agriculture expert and uh, that's the burning problem in front of the government uh, farmers agitation under your nose as it were in delhi uh, will that be a big backdrop to what the finance commission will undertake i personally feel that there might be one of the reason for the government to put me there <laughs> okay. and uh, be from niti aayog side tried our level best to persuade the states to undertake some reforms but uh, states for various reason have not undertaken that reform which is the to my mind principal cause mm -hmm. for uh, for persistent uh, agrarian distress mm -hmm. so i would like to personally see that these kind of reforms which uh, states have not been undertaking can we do something can we invent some incentive for the states so that they undertake these measures and mm -hmm. we are able to address this agrarian distress and also rural distress Right, so the GST impact and compensation to states right on top of the agenda for that panel, for that commission there. So a tall task ahead for Mr. N.K. Singh and company.